హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ ఇట్స్ మీ డాక్టర్ వి జయకుమార్ ఐ మేక్ లెక్చర్ వీడియోస్ ఫార్ ది బెనిఫిట్ ఆఫ్ మెకానికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ వీడియో వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సి అబౌట్ కెనమాటిక్ చైన్స్ ద డెఫినేషన్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ కెనమాటిక్ చైన్స్ అండ్ డిటర్మినేషన్ ఆఫ్ నేచురల్ చైన్స్ by using aw klein's criterion all will be discussed in this video before we proceed if this is your first time and not yet subscribed this channel please press the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified all my forthcoming videos in the below flow chart of machine we have already discussed in detail about kinematic links and kinematic pairs the combination of kinematic pairs will form kinematic chain so we will be discussing in detail about kinematic chain in this video what is a kinematic chain let us consider an automatic door closer mechanism that is used in our day to day life in fact this door damper mechanism is a four bar mechanism the skeleton diagram kinematic diagram of the mechanism is shown here as you could see this mechanism has four joints four links and combination of links form four kinematic pairs the combination the assemblage of kinematic pairs will form a kinematic chain but it should satisfy two condition the first one is each link should form a part of two kinematic pairs the second condition being the relative motion between the links should be either completely constrained or successfully constrained what it means the kinematic chain should provide a predictable a controlled output motion in response to a supplied input motion if the chain does not provide predictable output motion then we can't call that assemblage of pairs as kinematic chain now we shall see different types of chains chains can be broadly classified under three types locked chain kinematic chain third one being non kinematic chain also known as unconstrained chain the kinematic chain in turn can be classified based on number of links as simple and compound kinematic chains and based on formation of loop as closed open and hybrid kinematic chains we will discuss them one by one now let us start with a locked chain locked chain is also known as a structure this three link chain forms a locked chain there is no relative motion between these three members so this cannot be used for building a mechanism in fact they are meant for carrying loads these structures can be used for building roof trusses bridges buildings machine frames the second type is non kinematic chain also known as unconstrained chain in this chain the relative motion between the links will be unconstrained motion this five link chain forms an unconstrained chain this chain will not provide predictable output motion in response to the input motion hence this unconstrained chain cannot be used for the purpose of building a mechanism finally we have kinematic chain four link chain shown forms a kinematic chain the relative motion between these links will be either completely or successfully constrained motion these kinematic chains will provide a predictable output motion hence this is the most important type of chain which can be used for developing designing a mechanism and machine 
having understood the meaning of kinematic chains they can be classified based on the number of links as simple and compound kinematic chains if a kinematic chain has four links then it is known as simple kinematic chain the slider crank mechanism and automatic door closer mechanism all are having four links and hence they are examples of simple kinematic chains the second type being compound kinematic chain if a kinematic chain has more than four links they can be called as compound kinematic chain the nine links and 12 links chains shown are typical compound kinematic chains based on the formation of loop kinematic chains can be classified as closed open and hybrid kinematic chains let us start with a closed kinematic chain when links are connected in a sequence with the first link connected to the last link forming a closed loop then the chain is called as closed kinematic chain take an example of car hood mechanism which is a four link mechanism here the first link is connected to the last link which forms the closed loop so it is a typical example of a closed kinematic chain in an open kinematic chain the first link is not connected to the last link and hence it will form an open loop as you could see here the first link 1 and last link 3 are not connected hence it forms the open loop if you take an industrial robo depending upon the application the movement of the wrist elbow those links will be forming an open kinematic chain finally hybrid kinematic chain hybrid kinematic chain contains both closed loop portion and open loop portion as you could see in the six link chain first four links forms closed loop whereas link 5 and 6 forms the open loop in fact many practical mechanisms such as metal handling equipments robots employ hybrid kinematic chains if a chain having number of links is given to us how can we determine that whether the given chain will form a kinematic chain or not the required condition to form a kinematic chains or n is equal to 2p minus 4 and j plus h by 2 equal to 3 by 2 n minus 2 where j refers to number of binary joints h is number of higher pairs n is the number of links we have aw klein's criterion of constraint to determine the nature of the chain whether the given chain will form a locked chain or a kinematic chain or an unconstrained chain according to kw klein's criterion of constraint in the above equation if left hand side is greater than right hand side then the given chain is called locked chain or structure if left hand side is equal to right hand side of that above equation then the given chain is called constrained kinematic chain instead if left hand side is less than right hand side the above equation then the given chain is called as non kinematic or unconstrained chain now we shall illustrate the concepts with numerical problems the problem number 1 let us show that combination of three links cannot form a kinematic chain so we know that the equation that needs to be satisfied is j plus h by 2 equal to 3 by 2 n minus 2 where j is number of binary joints in this problem we have three binary joints a b and c and h is number of higher pairs higher pairs have point or line contact in this they are turning pairs they all are lower pairs and hence higher pair h is equal to 0 and n is the number of links here n is equal to 3 substituting them 
in the equation we get left hand side as 3 right hand side as 2.5 since left hand side is greater than right hand side therefore the given three link chain is not a kinematic chain in fact it is a locked chain or structure now in the second numerical problem let us determine whether the given four bar chain is a locked constrained or unconstrained kinematic chain as you could see from the diagram the number of links n is equal to 4 and number of binary joints is equal to 4 and there is no higher pair n h equal to 0 substituting all these values in this above equation we will be getting left hand side is equal to right hand side since left hand side is equal to right hand side therefore the four bar chain will form a kinematic chain and hence this can be used for designing a mechanism finally let us do the same exercise for the given 12 link chain just by going through the given chain we can understand that the chain consists of binary ternary and quaternary joints so we need to convert the given joints into equal number of binary joints. We have four binary joints at B, C, E and F and four ternary joints at joints A, D, G, H and one quaternary joint at joint I. We know that one ternary joint is equivalent to two binary joints and one quaternary joint is equivalent to three binary joints. Using that logic, we can determine the number of equivalent binary joint as 15. Since there is no higher pair h is equal to 0, substituting all these values in the equation, we get left hand side is less than right hand side. Since left hand side is less than the right hand side, therefore the given 12 link chain cannot form a kinematic chain. It is an unconstrained chain. Finally, the key takeaways from this lecture are summarized and presented here for your ready reference. That's it. Hope you found this video useful. If so, like this video, share it to your friends, subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Take care. Bye.